it's redacted 147 here and I have decided to take up a new gaming series well not that I have any it's just this is probably my first gaming series Among Trees it's a game that was sort of criticised to its eventual demise by the um, committee and it eventually ceased production at the end of 2021 which is very sad but it's still a good legacy left behind I am playing this on Epic Games which is where I got it originally I've had this game for over two years now but I haven't touched it for like over five months I think so I thought why not make a game series and so I before we begin I am going to tell you the six difficulty levels that I came up with so when you're creating a new save you have the option to start off with standard mode which includes hostile animals which is obviously the latter three difficulty settings and then there's zen mode which does not include these animals and I'm going to be going in order from lowest, least difficult to most difficult that being level one well difficulty level one being zen easy level two being Zen Medium, level 3A being Zen Hard, then level Normal Easy being level 3B, then level 4 being Normal Medium, and then level 5 being Normal Hard. And just so you know, the high levels do feature bears, they do, which is the hostile cannibal in this game. I heard there was plans in its development to include wolves and more bears, but that never got round to it. Just for the record, there's just only two bears in the entire map. So yeah, but the objective of this game is just to um, explore and survive. It is, it's a survival game, and it's set in the woods, it is. Yeah, where there's like loads of plants and stuff. There's even a fox in it that you get to adopt, but that's a bit far into the series. But yeah, I guess we should start the game. We should. Of course, I have loads of saves open already. We're going to do Zen. We're going to do Easy. And we're going to do play through LV1 L play through 1 call it that and without further ado well actually just so you know what I class as completing the game is getting all the things in the logbook discovered collecting all the materials or maybe not all the materials but have all the all the um like tools crafted and all the um plants discovered and the each of the po six potions that are made and I'd have to use them at least once and I'll have to camp and use up at least one tent throughout the playthrough. But anyway, let's just continue, well, let's just start the um, gameplay already. There is a pleasure in the pathless woods. There is a rapture on the lonely shore. There is society where none intrudes. By the deep and the music in the roar. I love not man the less, but nature more. By George Gordon Bry Byron, is that? Let me just adjust this quickly. So, you've tired, you've grown tired of the modern world and decide to escape to the wilderness, where the air smells like pine and the bird's song echoes beneath between the trees. After days of hiking into the great unknown, you stumble across the wreck of a cabin, a place to, to begin again, a new home. Here we are. So I'll just wander around. So 
So we need six fur planks and ten sticks. We'll use a left shift to um, press tab to open your backpack. So we've got a fur plank. And there's, this shows my outfits. The stats, cold resistance, stamina and speed. There is also stealth for the, um, what's it called? But yeah, I could always in the far future create, mod this game in some way. Because I know the engine it was created in Unity 2018. So maybe I could at some point add more to this game, if you would like to see that. Maybe even create a storyline in like the far future, but anyway, I guess, yeah, this is backpack. Twelve slots, there's one, some with more, and then this logbook, which includes 30 flora, exploration, 10 locations on the map, and construction, seven home rooms and the cabin. But anyway, let's continue. Obviously our hunger is going down a bit. Let's grab button mushroom. It's right there. This sturdy little fungo will help you satisfy your hunger. You can eat them raw, but they're much more nutritious when cooked. More health and there's health. More hunger. Well, I guess that's the stomach, I guess. If it, you cook it, it's got a bit of hunger and would store some health. Especially if you've been stung by a bee or something, or hit by a bear. Let's just eat it so we can restore our health a bit. Not health, hunger. Then of course there's tiredness, which is just basically the sleep cycle. Then there's temperature, and you... You don't overheat in this game, it's by getting too cold, because it gets cold in the evening. Just think of this as a wood, some woods in Canada or something. This is basically set in Canadian wildlife, and Canadian wildlife it is. Yeah. I guess this is a... Um, relaxing game and just look at those look at that gorgeous sky and this came out in 2020 originally so it's doing good at four years it is i remember looking at videos of this during the pandemic and i was just amazed oh, such a good escape this game was if only it could have been added on to or survived a bit longer. I am playing the last version that was ever released, which is 0.5.41. Oh, what's this? Gooseberry. A small green nutritious berry. Also, there's stack limits. Most items in this game stack to 15. Do. Well, fur planks stack to 10, sticks stack to 10. Button mushroom stacks then, so I guess I'm wrong there. <laughs> there's a lot of different stack limits. I've heard there's even some items that stack to 30. There are. Let me pick this up. Button mushroom. Well, there's no harm in starting another stack of sticks. Oh, what's this? Golden Chanterelle. The sought after mushroom that has a mild taste and fruity aroma and is an excellent medicine. Eating it will sate your hunger and improve your health, but cooking it will bring about a miraculous full recovery. Yeah, it also restores your temperature a bit in case you get cold in the night, so if you haven't walked, run around a lot, I guess, and you have quite a bit of sleep like awakeness left in you, you can use this when you're just about to die of freezing to death, you can just eat one of these and cooked and it would go whoop, back up. Anyway, we're losing a bit of hunger again, so yeah, that is almost complete. Anyway, fur plank, we've got enough, let's just pick up some more resources. Let's 
because we need resources all the time. Yeah, over there is where one of the two bears would be over there, like right where my center of my thing is pointing. But anyway, let's construct this. Okay, after that short break, I'm back. Here we are. We're going to build the cabin. So repair cabin, let's E build. Cabin features unlocked. Sleep. Get a good night's sleep in the bed. Save. Save your progress. Storage. Put things you don't need at the moment in the storage box. New extensions. Cooking room, crafting room and storage attic. See, we already have access to like, um, something like, um, here we have access to three. Um, this is where well, we don't have access to it. This is three features we get, and we have one room, and we get access to build another three. Well, until night time, we don't. No. Well, I guess we don't need this at the moment. Golden chance well. I guess we do need a bit of that. But we do need some water. Let's save our progress. Should we do the crafting room or the storage attic next? I wonder what we should do. Should we do the cooking room, in fact? Should explore, but I know where roughly everything is on the map, but I think it's best to do the crafting room first so we can have enough. So we need steel wire, steel wire, fur plank and stump moss. Let's save again. And stamina, we will just unlock the stamina queue. Or queue being like running too long, blah blah blah. I forgot it was not knowing that sky. Let me running up to things. And Ruby Beats has been discovered. Enjoy the tender red flesh of Juicy Beats. You can eat them raw, but then you, you can't eat them raw. But they're nutritious when cooked. Stack limit of eight. What's the weird stack limit? Oh, what's this? Moral mushroom, raspberry. Moral mushroom, a delicious mushroom with honeycomb like appearance. Health and hunger, 15 stack. This juicy berry is a sweet tree, just hungry raspberries. Let's just piece it. And then there's Budrock Root, Burdock Root, Green Plant with ed Edible Fibrous Root. It has a slight bitter taste. Stack limit 15, it's hunger. And there's another Dotty Mushroom. There's this Dotty Mushroom. This lovely looking fungus can be eaten raw, but it might be poisonous. Cook it, however, and it's perfectly safe. So it boosts you by by a significant amount on all stats, but then there's a 25 chance it might percent chance it might poison you. If you cook it, however, it's not poisonous, then it's even better. Stack limit is eight. Is that another dotty mushroom? Oh yeah, the night is happening. So yeah, yellow ash leaves and that current. This is handy. I'll keep this. These large berries are a perfect mix of sweet and tart. You can eat them raw, but they're much more nutritious when cooked. Bean, yash leaves. These big smoothies can be used for insulation when building cabin extensions. Stack limit 15. Let's just go down here. Because we are thirsty for water. Reed Lake. Now, if we go in the book, Exploration, that's one of the locations. Drink water. I know that's unhygienic, but that's the only way we can pretty much get water. For now. Driftwood we can pick up. These poppy shaped water one pieces of wood are found on the banks of rivers, use them for crafting the stack limit. Five. We need to them for one of the other rooms I think. Got some mushroom. Got a golden chanterelle, I think, that we can use. In 
lingonberry, small delicious tasty red berry. Oh, we haven't got chanterelle, but God, what can we use for warmth? We can use the black currant, but then again, we could probably use the lingonberry for a slight boost. But anyway, hopefully we should find some chanterelle. So what we need to do is get this and another lingonberry and get some steel wire and fur banks, all moral mushroom, just can't stop picking these up. The fungus, let's read about that. These peculiar shaped mushroom grows on pines and can't be eaten raw, it's not much good cooked either. Five. Yeah, that would be where one of the two bears would be. Sometimes I accidentally put the wrong setting on by mistake and, you know, have an unwelcome surprise. But it looks like we chose the right setting this time. And I should have popped up by now and it hasn't, which is all good. All good. Black currants, that's another one. Maybe we should have gone after the um other one first. Black currant, I'm finding lots of these. Let's just have one of these so I can explore for a bit longer. Gooseberry, we can leave that behind. Yeah, I know in real life woods you're not supposed to take mushrooms out of the ground because A, they could be poisonous and B, it actually helps this forest's underground root structure survive easy, eat more easily. Yeah, so don't try this at home. As you can see there's frost forming around my screen and yeah, it's getting colder. Also my stamina's not stam I mean stamina is running a bit low, but we just keep running until the um thingy pops up. Running for too long will spur more energy. The red stamina line indicates when it's time to take a breather. There's a bunny there. Come back. No. I want to be your friend. Okay, so. We are some really supposed to be going inside the cabin right now. Let's just pick up one more of these. Just eat to boost it should really be going back but I don't really care because we're going to explore a bit and to uh, yes I know I'm sleepy I'm just I'm like oh my god I'm so tired I'm just going to wander around until I fall asleep in the cold hard earth but anyway there's steel was this steel wire yes I guess I mean What is the point of this? Actually, the, we'll just eat one of these so we can have some space for steel wire. Let's pick up only steel wire. We only need three. Obviously, we need some fur planks, so we pick up those. Two, three, four, five. Six. We might as well pick up another one of these resources. Let's search these. Steel wire, let's grab one of those. How many do they step to? Ten. Don't 
that's the one pile we just searched. Search this. We have that. Search this one. Nope. Okay, there is a plank here. Seven, we should really be heading back now because it's getting cold. And I'm getting very tired. In game. Black current, let's pick up another one of those. We'll just keep on picking these. The fungus. We can always complete it tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm about to run out. Um, sleep level. Yeah. So it's been a long first day, so I'm gonna open the door. Show progress. Storage box, we can put these, all these resources in here. Boom, boom. Boom. And finally we can go to sleep. Yeah. Day two. So what I'm probably going to do is have two days per episode so you I can keep you engaged. I mean, I did think about making this first episode just a single day long. Then again, it probably get to show all of this one of those mushrooms. Could go after driftwood, but once we've got enough steel wire, I mean, we can go to the place where the bear would be. And also find out where the stump moss is. So the bear would have been in where I'm heading towards right now. But luckily this is Zen mode, so there's no such thing as bears. This would this will become an issue in difficulties 3B, 4 and 5 though. This will be a difficulty in those. That will be a problem in those difficulties. Again. Good in case you were trying to swim across something which you really. Oh. Anyway, that short interruption completes. We um, are heading towards. Bear would be roaming around here, but. Ooh! I forgot to tell you something. There's this glowing thing. It actually helps you in some way. Blueprint. Lockpick blueprint now found. It's now very crafting. So we're, we're going to pick up more planks. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We don't need any more but 13. Steel wire. 7 of those. And you can just grab one of these. Still wire. Still wire. Nine. Ten. Eleven. But yeah, we don't. Well, actually, let's not waste stuff like this because we can always just put it back. Yeah, just heading out a little bit further, th and here is our stump moss. This fuzzy tender moss makes excellent insulation for your cabin extensions. Yeah, right. So we can keep one of these. There's a stack limit of five. Pick up yellow ash leaves. One of this.
green boots. No, we don't really need that at the moment. Sticks. Got stuck through. What's this? Rose hip, that's something rarer. Get into that later in the series. Star Glow Cave. Another discovery. There. Man, this is really a underdeveloped game, there's minerals. More importantly, there's water here. This is very, very unhygienic, so don't actually try this at home. Oh, I'll just take the second. Another blueprint. Pickaxe blueprint found. So it's two blueprints in the first video. So yeah. Just jump through that. Let's explore north a bit more. Oh, yep, and we found one of the... Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? It happens to spawn right there. I can't even reach it. So, control for crouch. Let me have it. No! Means we have to look for a new one now. It's a log stump with one, but no, it's not one, one with one. I guess this is what I could do when I get wandering in the woods. Just look at that, it's so beautiful. Such beautiful scenery. Is that another... Please, please, just give me some. Give me some. Yes, thank you. And there's some rarer stuff in here, like some flowers that we can use for brewing. Another one of these. There's just loads of flowers here. We can always pick them up later in the series. Comment down below when you, what episode number you think. Oh my god, this is the rarest thing in the game. We might have to discard this. Puffle mushroom. A short rounded species of mushroom. This is actually really rare. This is, so... I'm glad we get to read it and check the flora. We've got six, eight, nine, eleven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen of those and one repaired cabin. We've got two locations. Nice work so far. Yeah, but judging by the sun, I think it's going to become evening soon. Oh, and those are some bees. We should stay away from them. Stump moss. Yellow ash leaves. Sticks. A fungus. We can get more of that. We don't really need it. Didn't we have like three or four or something? Bad rock root. Yeah, those are for really long missions, I guess. Lindenberry. Just have a drink here. Just have a little sip. Chanterelle, oh, some more moss. Is this a different lake or something? Beats. This must be a different lake. I 
well, that is the same one that is. Obviously we only have five. Just keep grabbing sticks. How many have we got? Five so far. So now we have those some of the all those there. Save progress. Build. Crafting. Craft tools, resources, and useful objects. Let's see. Let's see, we, we shouldn't really be crafting any of this. Reinforced plank. I don't believe, I believe there's not used for anything. Metal plate is used for something, I think. Yeah, that's a waste of stuff. And glue. Lime mineral and large resin. Yeah. Tools. Woodsman's axe, fishing rod, got pick, pickaxe, compass, map, water canteen. Now this can push you back quite a bit, it can, because it's not essential, and plus it's a bit buggy as well. Med kit is when you get hit, like if you're hurt, bleeding or poisoned. And these are just cosmetic items, pretty much. Can we actually craft any of these? Well, I guess we need an axe, which requires dupe rope and bolts. Do we have any of those? Just put them in there. Dupe rope and bolts. There, 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 there. Five of those. Dupe rope and bolts. We should pin it just to be sure. Notes item. Any dupe rope or bolts note. Save. Let's go. can go back to the sites we've already been to because we didn't fully salvage them and I'm pretty sure we didn't find any dupe rope or bolts but let me tell you they stack up quite a lot they do I mean 15 may be a small number when you think about it but it's actually going to be quite big steel pipe that's uses pipe to build cavern extensions and new crafting items there's five of those dupe rope Broke as many uses crafting, building, and even sewing clothes. Don't leave home without some. Ten. Ten to that stats too. We'll just salvage this out. Take those old rags. Waste not, want not. You can use these old rags to sew new pieces of clothing. Nails and bolts. Bolts. Stack them at 30, so that's a lot. Use these fasteners to help build cabin extensions and craft new items. Yeah, I think 30 is plenty. Well, I know that's not the common phrase, but 20 is plenty, but 30 is a lot. Nails, 30. Use these, I, use these to help build cabin extensions and craft new items. Just make sure you don't hit your thumb with the hammer. Ouch, that would hurt. Search here, nails and bolts. We've already got enough, but let's just scour this out. Definitely got everything that's not locked away in chests or wooden boxes. And yeah, the sun is setting now, so we should head back. But anyway, we'll be able to craft a woodsman's axe and we'll be able to see what we'll be able to do. Oh, yeah.
Fair bank will just grab one of those since we never saw it at the start. There'll be another one. Just eat one of these. You can decide what we we can do next in the comments. But anyway, let's craft item it's crafting. There we've got an axe. Equip two. So let's just do the test this quickly. I think on a um, tree we can just do this. Cut it down. I'm only going to cut down one tree because it's full of resources. Just eight swings and pick these up. I don't know where my third stick has gone, but they're not really that valuable since we've got a lot of them already. Put this back, put this here. Take that to the right now, so we can save some space. Yeah. So I guess we go to sleep. day three but anyway if you've enjoyed this so this game based today please consider leaving a comment to see if you so I can have support if you want me to do more and if, any, if anything continue the series on this first level difficulty that I have group that I have set up anyway hope you enjoyed this and I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye.